Hi everyone, so GoodNotes recently released an update with a feature which I'm so happy about. I've wanted this feature for so long in GoodNotes and that's being able to arrange layers in GoodNotes. Now it's not very advanced, you only have two options, so that's sent to front and sent to back, but I wanna show you how you can use this and where you can use this. So I hope this video helps you out and let's get started and take a look at this feature. So to use the arrangement tool in GoodNotes, it's actually really easy and simple. All you need is to select the lasso tool. So I already have it selected here and I have it selected to detect anything you can toggle those off or on and all you need to do I'm just gonna zoom in so you can clearly see you can just select whatever you want so for instance I want to send this little sticker it's actually an element sticker to the back so that the text that's behind it can come forward so all you need to do is just select that I'm gonna go to arrange here and I'm just gonna say send to back and there we have it. It's just sending the text to the front and it's just so helpful to finally be able to do this, especially with things that have a lot of information on it. So for instance, I wanna to go to this little page here that I have. This was kind of like a scrapbooking book that I had in 2020 and it has a lot of elements to it. So you can see I did some writing, some images, some stickers. And for instance, the cases like these where I have so much going on, it's super helpful to be able to just arrange things. So for instance, if I added a colored block here, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna to go to elements and just add in a block of color. I have so many of these types of stickers. I'm gonna go with, let's go with one of the bright colors. So already in this little block here, I have stickers, I have writing and everything. So if previously, if I wa decided after I've added all that, that I wanted to add this little block in, I would have to first cut this out and then place that and then paste in the things back. It was just a hassle. So now all I can do is I can just place this wherever I want, make sure it's precise. And all I need to do now is I can just tap on that, go to arrange and send to back. And there we have it. Now we have a cool little piece of image behind that sticker. So I'm sorry, I previously said you need to select the lasso tool for images and things. You can obviously just tap on the image itself and select arrange. You don't have to select the lasso tool every single time, especially if you have multiple images on one place. Using lasso tool will be a bit tricky. So for images, you can just tap on it and then go to range. For text, you might wanna go to your lasso tool, disable images and things to make sure you just select text and then you can select it and maybe like send to back or something. You understand what I mean. So that is how you can go ahead and arrange things in GoodNotes now, super helpful feature. And I'm sure this will be a game changer for a lot of people when it comes to making designs in GoodNotes and just making like mood boards, things like that. It just makes arranging your layers and everything really easy. So that's how you can arrange things in GoodNotes. I really hope this helped you out and you can kind of grasp the feature and understand how to use it. Again, I've been waiting for this for so long, so I'm so happy that it's finally here and now we can finally use it. So yeah, that was the feature. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if it helped you out, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. And comment down below if you have any questions, if there's still something you don't understand Understand, I will definitely reply to you. Again, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!